All right. Here is an Iron Mouse build. It's a very OP build simply because the Iron Mouse set bonus increases your stability with Anti-Kinetic Shield Drone. Anti-Kinetic Shield Drone in general reduces the incoming damage, but the increased stability makes you an offensive machine. That means for most of the attacks that enemies will land on you while the Anti-Kinetic Shield Drone is active, it will not stagger you. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play a stagger game with our enemies. Who can stagger each other more? All right. The point is to be constantly offensive so that the enemy cannot retaliate. Obviously that works until the combo is finished. After the combo is finished, there will always be a brief period when the enemy will be able to attack you. But it's not that problematic. We will build this in a way that we will have a lot of healing available, a lot of vital boost, a lot of endurance enhancers and no problems with energy whatsoever. Energy is really crucial here because you're going to use anti-kinetic shield drawn constantly and a boost to your attack, which we will talk a bit later. The point of this is that this can be built in many, many ways. You guys are not wrong if you have built it in a different way. Absolutely not. The whole point of the Iron Mouse set is the Anti-Kinetic Shield Drone. As long as you are using that, you're going to be fine. That's why the energy is the most important factor here. And usually for every armor specific build, the energy is the most important thing. As for the weapons that should be used here, well, I would suggest that you use anything with a lot of impact. So heavy duty, single rigged, staff, and single-handed are all good. Twin rigged, not that great unless you're using Claws of Gestalt. Why not that great? Simply because you want enemy to be constantly staggered, which is almost impossible to achieve. But either way, there is an increased chance of making a sequence that will make enemy stagger constantly if you have a weapon that has huge amount of impact. That's about it. Now we can go to implants and gear section where I will explain all of the other things. Playstyle for this specific build is very simple. You use anti-kinetic shield always, it needs to be always up. Then I use energized power cell to give me more elemental damage, which we will cover later on why is that. And you go batshit crazy on your opponents. Iron Mouse headgear will give you energy consumption for your drone minus 50%. That is absolutely necessary. Without it, it will be a lot more problematic to build the whole playstyle around Iron Mouse set. Gloves or arm pieces will give you more impact. That's why you can use single-handed and staff weapons as well, because with their, in general, medium impact, you will still be able to stagger the enemy a lot, just because of the bonuses from the arm pieces. Body gear will not give you anything and leg pieces will give you less stamina consumed while running. This is the primary thing, anti-kinetic shield. Without it, don't even try to play this Iron Mouse set. It's not worth it. Go for something else. If you guys don't know where to get it, you can just type in my channel anti-kinetic shield and you will immediately see where you can get it. It's a cheeky fucker, that one. Hard to... Actually, easy to miss, hard to find. Let's cover the implants now. As for the weapon already covered, that more impact, the better. For the implants, go for two, two endurance enhancers. At least three vital boosts. Because you will receive a lot of damage with this set. Recapacitator, that will stop your energy decay below 30%. That means you will constantly be able to use anti-kinetic shield drone, which is absolutely fantastic. That's the whole point of this build. Voltaic Dynamo, that will uh, build up your energy gain with successive attacks. And now the rest of the things are pretty much optional. I used Energized Power Cell to get more damage 
it's important because we are offensive minded here and we need to finish our enemies as fast as possible so go either with energized power cell or mechanized counterweight that will also increase your offensive cap capabilities to a lot now for the aggression amplifier or med voltaic injection you are already using anti-kinetic shield zone that will use up your energy you're already using an offensive implant that will use up your energy so i think med voltaic injection is not that great with this setup unless you go exclusively energy build without so much vital boosts and whatnot then you can go for it but i would not suggest it especially for console players if you're on pc you can do that but for console players we have to constantly switch on our d-pad what we're going to use and it's a pain in the ass if you have two things that you need to use for example in my case energized power cell and vital injections that's all right you can sustain that but if you need three things it's almost impossible to properly use them in a fight it's very pain in the ass for a console player so i would suggest aggression amplifier instead of a med voltaic injection it will increase your sustainability over the course of getting from one ops to another ops it's useless in boss fights where you can switch it for med voltaic injection for example you would not make a mistake there but then you're going to switch to three usable implants which is pain in the ass couple of other options here are pneumatic calibrator that will reduce your stamina consumption while you're doing evasive moves that means dodging that is really really good because you don't have such a huge stamina region as with gorgon set another choice would be also adrenaline shunt that will slow down time which will make the whole game a lot more easier so you can go for that as well it will be pretty good with this setup if you cut out energized power cell and you use adrenaline shunt instead of it that would make it even more op in my opinion but you can play with options see for yourself and that would be it really that's my whole setup you can also use sns disinhibitor that will give you more energy gain and stamina region when you're near death and that's the whole build lads i hope you enjoy it iron mouse is a really powerful armor set if used properly the next build will be black cerberus and the one after that will be a rhino i also having planned a couple of more videos next to that and then i'm done with the game so see you later soon